count in the monthly cost of living in New Jersey, the escalating cost of commuting to work in New Jersey. Senior correspondent David Cruz adds up the added expenses for those still chasing the dream. If you're one of the millions of New Jersey residents who commutes to work or school or wherever, whether you're on a train or a bus or in some cases both, you know that even as the quality and reliability of service goes down, the cost is always going up. Oh, don't even get me started. I've been here 21 years. I used to pay 50 cents for this. And it's not even worth it. It should cost $5 or so maybe they fix it. This is a disaster. It's always delayed. It's always issues. So anyway, I'm late. Thank you. <laughs> it's a common refrain. The Port Authority's PATH service has had a particularly bad year as it tries to implement federally mandated safety controls and attempts to handle all the volume from unchecked new development along its 14-mile line. Crowded platforms and long delays have become the standard. It's been a long time since the 50-cent path fare, but since 2002, the price of a one-way path fare has gone up from $1.50 to $2.75. If you've been here a long time, that seems like a lot, but newcomers here in Jersey City, most commuting to and from Manhattan, say it ain't so bad. Honestly, I think that if I were anywhere else and I had to pay for a car and gas, it would actually come out to be more expensive. How's the service? Is it worth the $90 a month? Yeah, it's, it's not perfect, um, but it works out okay. Also, it could be worse, says Reiko Gomers. He's visiting from the Netherlands, where he's a university student who takes two trains to get to school and two trains back every day. So a single-way ticket is around 10 to 12 euros. So my times 10, so yeah, it's 120, 100 euros, yeah. A week? A week, yeah. That's roughly $468 U.S. a month. Transit guru Martin Robbins says most people don't know they're already paying for mass transit, whether they take it or not. In the case of NJ Transit, public dollars cover about 50% of the system's operating costs, with the rest coming from commuters. The national standard is closer to 75 percent, he says. Since 2002, fares on NJ Transit have gone up over 60 percent, 25 percent in 2010 alone. So why, even with the public subsidy, are you seeing those big fare increases every few years? They see the 20 percent rate increases when the government uh, doesn't carefully manage the, this, this allocation between passengers and government and they just they refuse to raise the, the, the passenger's uh, uh, contribution for political reasons, and then the costs just keep rising, and then uh, major adjustments are ultimately required to bring things back into that balance. And so that's when you see those big that, rate hikes. And that's what happened each one of those times. Robbins says until political leaders start being honest with commuters and create a policy that raises fares more regularly and more fairly, Relief is miles down the track. Unlike a lot of commodities, the cost of transportation rarely fluctuates. The only direction it follows is up, even while the quantity and the quality of supply goes down. In Jersey City, I'm David Cruz, NJTV News.